Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Saved by the Bellerin. And today's episode is part three of my three-part breakdown of how Mikel Arteta sets up Arsenal formation-wise. And today is something different. I'm going to be doing how potential sign-ins will fit into his system, whether it be a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1. We just see how they fit in. And I've gone with the three most linked players, which is Deo Upamecano, the centre-back from Leipzig, and Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid, the defensive midfielder, and Orkan Koku, who I've also done a previous video about. So I hope you enjoy it. So the first person we'll be talking about is Deo Upamakano. And as you can see on my formation lineup builder, that he would fit solidly next to William Saliba and Kiratini at the heart of Arsenal centre defence. Deo Upamakano would probably cost around 50 million, maybe a little bit cheaper with what's going on in the world. But he's very strong on the ball, he's quick, and he can bring the ball out from defence. So he's everything Mikhail Arteta seemingly wants from a centre back. He's very powerful, he's athletic, he's very tall, he's good in the air, and he defends crosses better than most of our centre backs. So the next player I'm going to talk about is Thomas Partey, the defensive midfielder from Atletico Madrid who will probably cost £45 million, which is his buyout clause, or a swap deal with Alexandre Lacazette, who Atletico Madrid have been very interested in in the last couple of years. Thomas Partey will bring so much dynamism to our midfield. He's so athletic, he's powerful. And not only that, he can play with the ball. He's very good at keeping the ball, his possession, he's strong. He's got very good strength on the ball and he would give us attributes that we've lacked in the middle of the pitch since Patrick Vieira left. And he's just an all-round very good midfielder. He can play as a defensive midfielder or he can play as a box-to-box midfielder. He can start an attack. He's very good on the counter-attack as well because he's so quick. But his main attribute is winning the ball back very quickly and distributing it to our better forward players. So finally, the last player I'm going to analyse is Orkan Koku, who you would have seen a video from me previously. I believe he's going to be world class. He has the ability to go past players, to make the final pass in the final third. He can assist, he can score goals from distance. He has that ability to glide when he has the ball at his feet, like a Jack Wilshere or a Santi Cazorla. He's both footed. And he, in a region of £20 million, he's going to be a steal. So I hope we can get that one over the line. And that's the end of another video from me. I sincerely hope we can get all three of these over the line with our £45 million deal for Thomas Partey, be it a swap or a cash deal. Rupert Meccano, depending on how Leipzig I uh, want to go with him because he's uh, got one year left on his contract. We could get, um, get him on the cheap or we might have to pay his release clause of £50 million. And then Orkan Koku, who I really do believe is going to be a great player in a region of £20 million. So the outlay might not be that much this summer considering who could leave and who we bring in. So hope you've enjoyed this video and my three-part breakdown of Mikhail Arteta's system for Arsenal in the future, whether it be a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1. So yeah, subscribe, like and comment on the videos. Uh, follow the pod on Twitter, SBTBpod. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you'd like, uh, Ryan Clayton underscore 10. We've got articles on the website now. We've got videos on YouTube. We've got weekly podcasts every Wednesday. And yeah, stay tuned for more and good night.